And I know you can do that. To my sister, Kimberly. Kim, you never said a lot, but I always knew the love was there. As much as I don't, and our brother John won't say, but you helped raise us back in those years, and you're still helping to raise our kids today. You never asked for anything, and you have sacrificed yourself for us. Never once complaining and saying, what about me? I owe you. No, we owe you a debt of gratitude. I love you. To my brother, my presenter, my big brother, I first want to step, thank you for stepping in for our, our father, who's no longer with us. But I also want to thank you for beating up on me when we were kids. <laughs> I want to thank you for making me tough. I also want to thank you for making all the mistakes when we were young, so I knew exactly what not to do. I also want to thank you for letting me play with your friends because it was with those guys who were four years older than me that's where I got my toughness my courage and my strength so big bro I appreciate that We lost our father about eight years ago, and up until that point, I always felt that, you know, I was, I was the tough brother, you know, because obviously he's a little shorter than me, not as good looking as I am. But when my father passed away, I learned why he's my big brother, because he stepped in and without hesitation, did everything that he had to do to take care of our father's business. So, bro, thank you for being a big brother. I want to thank my mother, Gladys Bettis. We call the big time. <laughs> How can I thank a woman who, through the entire course of my career, came to every single football game I ever played in the NFL? <laughs> through you and that, I learned what good parenting really is. And about a year and a half, a little over a year ago, we found out that my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. And it scared and changed all of our lives. But in that moment, I realized where my toughness and where my strength really came from. Because she handled it like a champion. She took care of everything she needed to take care of so that she could be here for us, for her grandchildren, and for the entire family. So mom, thank you for being a role model, an incredible parent, and a leader. Thank you, mom. When people used to ask me growing up, who was my hero? I would always say, my dad. My dad was my hero. He was my biggest fan. how to be a man. You see, he had two jobs. He worked to the bone, never complaining, never asking for a break. All that while supporting three children. He was the strongest man 
I will ever know. And it's because of him that I am here. When my father sent me off to college, he told me one thing. He said, son, I'm sending you off to school. I don't have much to give you, but I have a good name. So don't mess it up. Well, Dad, I hope I made you cry. Special thanks to my uncle Leroy, who's no longer with us as well, because he was the one who spotted me playing football in front of the house and told my mother, that boy needs to be playing football. You see, he was a high school football coach, so he could spot talent. So he told my mother, the boy needs to play football. And that changed my life. So my uncle Leroy, I owe him a debt of gratitude as well. Sometimes you remember exactly when it was when you were inspired to be great. I remember that day. It was in Detroit. It was actually in Highland Park. It was at the Reggie McKenzie football camp. I was there, Pepper Johnson, linebacker for the New York Giants. He was the director of this camp. He brought all of his friends there. All the famous Chris Carter, he was there. Tina Turner, Bobby Abrams. It was so many guys that were there. And Reggie McKenzie said at the end of one practice, who's going to be the next one? Who's going to be the next one? So me feeling something inside of me, I ran up to, to Reggie. I said, Reggie. I'm going to be the next one. And I'm sure he's looking at me, it's not those 16 year old kids. Say, yeah, okay. He said, we'll see. We'll see. And that day, my life was changed. You see, in that football camp, there was another gentleman named Keith Byers. He put his arms around me, Pepper put their arms around me, and they told me that I could be good. I could be a professional football player. That's the first time I really thought that the possibility existed, that there was a chance that I could take this to the next level. But all I wanted to do at the time was to get a college education. So my goal was to get to college. I got a chance to get there. But Reggie, I went up to Reggie and I said, Reggie, why do you do this football camp? You don't make any money on it. You ask these guys to come for free. He said, if I get a chance to impact one kid's life, then I've made a difference. Well, Reggie, you've changed my life. So thank you. Thank you, Reggie. Oh. You see, Reggie McKenzie was a outstanding football player. And he had no reason to come back to Highland Park, but he did for a lot of young black kids in the city of Detroit and Highland Park, and he made a difference to all of us. So Reggie, you are a success story, brother. My freshman year, I went to a high school I just want to acknowledge that my high school coach is no longer with us, Coach Hodgkins. But I want to talk about my high school coach for a quick second. His name is Robert Dozier. I know he's here. The coaching staff is here. Coach, I want to say thank you. Thank you, Coach. Because it was you who came into our house when I was, I was starting to go down the wrong path. And Coach Dozier, he said, Son, you got a, you have a chance to be special. I've, I've coached some great football players in my day. You got a chance to be special, but you got to go in the right path. And I changed my life and turned my life around. So, Coach, those were important words, but not the most important words you gave me. You see, I was an All-American linebacker. I love to 
splitting people's head up. And my high school coach said, he said, son, you're only five, ten and a half. He said, your daddy was only five, ten, not going to be much taller. He said, so your best option is to play running back. And I was discouraged, but coach, you were right. You were right. I still think I would may have gotten here on, as a linebacker, but coach, you were right. And I want to thank you for that. I've been fortunate.